रोज एक सवाल सवाल सॉल्व करने के बाद वो बेल आइकन पे क्लिक कर देना रोज सवाल का नोटिफिकेशन तुम्हें मेल बॉक्स में आ जाएगा ओके लेट स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन दैट कम्बाइंस जोमेट्री एंड बेसिक कॉमन सेंस इट बेसिकली कम्बाइंस जोमेट्री सेंस ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेट जोमेट्री एज वेल एज कॉमन सेंस ओके सो हियर यू कैन से दैट यू नो वेन एवर सच पॉइंट आर इन्वॉल्व दीज आर कोऑर्डिनेट जोमेट्री क्वेश्चन एट द सेम टाइम दर इज ए ट्राइंगल एरिया इन्वॉल्व यू नो लेंथ so this this part if you see is geometry right this part if you see is coordinate geometry because the equation of line and position of coordinates of point right so let's see how do we solve this so coordinate geometry is also finding its importance in these papers uh, one or two questions every year is is uh, nearly becoming a trend so please uh, you know don't miss out on coordinate geometry my sense is that you might get one this year also so please revise the basics no need to get into details however the basics like you know uh, how do you you know place the points what are the coordinates of a point what what are the equations of line uh, what is the equation of a quadratic equation so so all of that is something which is uh, which is to be revised now let's get on with this question so there is a triangle abc having an area of 32 square units uh, bc is of length 8 units lies on the line x is equal to 4 okay so now let's you know let's draw the uh, you know the coordinate system here okay, so once we so let's draw the coordinates so it's coordinates here so now what we have here is there is the so there is this line which is x is equal to 4 okay x is equal to 4 will pass from 4 comma 0 this is x is equal to 4 line right right this is x is equal to 0 this is y is equal to 0 i hope these basic equations are clear to you now shortest is possible distance between a and the point 0 0 is now the point 0 0 is this we all know that the shortest distance is the perpendicular distance i hope you all studied this in the basics of geometry that the shortest possible distance is always the perpendicular distance that's one concept i will request you should write and keep it very very handy revise it now uh, what we have to do is we have to place the triangle with the base you know bc such that such that you know uh, the distance between a and the point 0 0 is minimum okay for that so for that what will happen is if we actually draw you know bc and a here in such a manner that you know i have bc here now bc is of length how many units 8 units right bc is of length 8 units since the area now this now we have what we have done is we have taken a here such in such a way that a this point 4 comma 0 and this point 0 comma 0 are in one straight line right so we have taken a 0 comma 0 and 4 comma 0 in one straight line what is the advantage the advantage is that the distance between a and 0 0 will be minimum when you know uh, a is also on the y is equal to zero line right so when a is also on y is equal to zero line then the distance is minimized i hope this is clear to you now so if this is this is being minimized in this case what happens here is that you know uh, the area is 32 which basically means that half into now let's say this point is d so half into bc into ad is given as 32 now bc we know is 8 so ad must be 8 as well now ad is also 8 now ad is also 8 this distance is 4 so the distance from a to 0 0 will also be 4 units will also be 4 units i hope this is clear to you so you know basically there are three parts to it one is you know drawing the drawing these lines and knowing the equations that's the part of coordinate geometry second is drawing you know the triangle finding out the height 
this one which is part of you know your basic euclidean geometry and then putting a on the same line as the perpendicular you know from a to bc uh, such that 0 0 also lies on the same line that part is common sense okay so i hope this is clear to you a very very beautiful question on geometry one of the best questions from the 2018 paper in as far as geometry is concerned this question uh, you know uh, might take a little time for you to you know figure out what is to be done and therefore i will say that you can take somewhere around 40 to 45 seconds in solving such a question right so 40 40 to 45 seconds is a decent amount of time in which you can put your thought across and uh, you can solve a-